Dembe market in Jemena, a few days before Chadians vote for their future president. We want health care, schools, drinking water, electricity. We need a lot of things in this country. The 10 candidates in Chad's presidential election are hoping to win over voters with promises of prosperity and jobs. Many Chadians, though, say promises are made every time there's a vote, but nothing changes. Every time, people are shouting, but the government acts like it doesn't hear. All the government wants is to stay in power. It doesn't think about the reality Chadians are living. With this election, I really want to change. The majority of Chadians, even here in the capital city, don't have electricity or drinking water in their homes. We want change. That's what we're hearing from people here at the market. Young people, particularly many of whom work hard at school and who can't find decent jobs and feel uncertain about their futures. It's 10 a.m. Cyril and his friends are drinking beer at the market. The 33-year-old studied law at university, but unable to find a job, he now sells whatever he can find. What young people in Chad want are jobs. Our diplomas are sleeping in drawers. We don't have a solution for that. It's great seeing a return to constitutional order, but now it's time to listen to the Chadian people. A new constitution was put in place during the three-year transition period that followed the killing of the late president, Idris Debi, on the battlefield. The next step in the transition is for Chadians to vote for their future president on May 6th.